So in this video we're going to go over um, some of the basics of set theory. Um, we're going to define a set and look at some of the other things that you can do with sets. So let's get started. So for the defini uh, definition of a set, we have that a set is a collection um, of unique objects, or distinct, as we'd say distinct objects. We can also say that uh, sets are also objects, and so we can have sets of sets. So, um, so not when we think about what an object is, it's anything. It can be an apple, a cherry, a number five. Um, it just you know if you can if you can define what it is that's going in there in a in a nice way, so you have a good description of what belongs in that set. You can make a set uh, containing that thing. So um, membership in a set, we use the following notation to write when we uh, belong a set. Suppose we have x x is some object, something, is in S. This means that means that x is an element of S, the set S. So, um, and we can write x is not an element of B. Means that x is not an element of B, S being the set, S and B being sets. Um, now the cardinality of a set is it's basically its size and um, for some sets those are infinite um, and for other sets the, it's a finite number and so to obtain the, the cardinality of a set you just count the number of elements that are in that set. Um, so let's give an example let's have a, a set A equal to, and usually we use curly brackets to define sets, um, and for the objects in here I'm going to put just numbers 1, 3, 5, 7. So the cardinality we usually write with these two lines like absolute values of A is going to be, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. So that's the size of a set. And obviously, um, things like cardinality of the natural numbers, that, that's infinite. And if you go on to study set theory a little bit more, you get that this infinity doesn't really describe everything about how many things are in that set. And there are actually things that can be infinite and bigger than that. So um, one other. Um, one other symbol that they use to, to denote the cardinality of n is this weird thing with an, uh, a little knot on it. Um, but that's for another more advanced thing altogether. Um, so some examples of, of sets. We have the natural numbers were sets. So that's equal to um, you know, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, dot, dot, dot. I'm not sure if some people omit the zero. You have z, which is all the integers. Um, should be a dot 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 here on this side. Zero, one, dot dot dot. You can have the rational numbers. And this we can write um, all, so x um, equal to p over q, okay? Or actually, we just write p over q such that um, p is in uh, n, or actually z, and q is in z. So, and uh, we could even add that the um, p 
P and Q um, have no common divisors. Uh, relatively prime. Um, so that would be the rational numbers, for example. So P over Q, where P, or P over Q is a reduced fraction. That's another example. And for other examples of sets, you could just define your own sets to be like we did up, up there, like 1, 3, 5, 7. Or you could say that B is um, apple, cherry, orange. So those are all, all examples of things that can be sets. Now a subset is a set which is, which is it's a, an, a group of elements that are contained, that form a set that are contained inside of another set. So for example, our example here, A, is a subset of N. And that's how we write it. So A is contained in N. So this, this means that x is element in A implies that x is necessarily an element of N. And we see that this is true. 1 is a natural number, 3 is a natural number, 5 is a natural number, and 7 is a natural number. So that's, that's subsets. Now, if A is a subset of B and B is a subset of A, then a is actually equal to B since X is an element of A implies X is an M element of B and X is an element of B implies that X is an element of A. So any element that's in A is going to be in B and any element that's in B is definitely going to be in A, meaning those two sets are equal. So we can use uh, the subset property and say that if the two sets are subsets of each other then those two sets are actually equal and contain only those same elements. So that's um, equality of sets. Um, up next we have the power set. Now the power set is um, so there are two important uh, sets to think of. So there's the empty set which is just a set with nothing in it. And then there's the power set. So this is a set of all subsets of a set. Yikes. So suppose we had um, the example up here um, where we have a, which is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7. Then you say the power set of a um, I'm not sure if that's the correct, uh, um, so I'm not going to use the notation unless I'm sure it's correct. I kind of forget what the actual notation of this is, but power set of A is going to be the set of, and now there's going to be a lot of them. So we're going to start by doing one, two, three, then one, three, one, four, 5, um, 1, 7, 3, 5, so these are all sets, um, 3, 7, and so on, and then we go 1, 3, 5, all the way up to 1, 3, 5, 7, and also the empty set, just because the empty set is a member of every set. So really, you have to go through this. Think of every possible distinct group of collection of, of um, objects from A, and then um, all of those belong in the power set of A. So you can quick, you could, given that we only had four elements here, and this one has a ton of elements there, you can quickly see how that becomes a very, very big set. Um, so that, that's basically the definition of a power set. I know we're going a little fast here, but um, a lot of this is review. Um, so operations on sets. So 
Um, so like numbers, you can add things, subtract them, and what whatnot. You can do the same sort of thing with sets. So we'll start with a union. So a union is written as A union B. So let's say A and B are sets. Then this is the set con containing all elements X such that X is in A or X is in B. So if X is in A, then it's going to be in A union B. And if it's in B, it's going to be in A union B. So this is like if you have a whole, uh, if you have two sets and one of them is a whole bunch of different shirts and then the other one is a whole bunch of different pants and then you take the union of those two sets, the sets of shirts and the sets of pants, then the end result is a set containing shirts and pants from the both, from both of those sets. So we also have the notion of an intersection. So A intersect B. So this is, this is like a little bit of the opposite of the union. And you can see this union is written with a U and this is like an upside down U. Um, so this is the elements such that X is in A and X is in B. So for something to be in the intersection, it really needs to be in both of those things. So for example, if we write out these diagrams here, these little Venn diagrams, then this here would represent the union, was all of this. Okay, so that's the union. In this case, this is A and this is B, this is the intersection. So you can see the union takes everything, the intersection only takes that little bit where things overlap. Um, up next we have the cross product. Cross product is written as A cross B. And that's just going to be a set of pairs. So X, Y, uh, such that X is in A and Y is in B. And so if this is, let's say, um, so A could be a, a set of uh, shirts, like before, and B is a set of um, pants, then A cross B will be a set of pairs of pants and shirts. In fact, all the combinations of pants and shirts. And that was really poorly written over there, but you get the idea. And the next and last one we have to look over is going to be set difference. So set difference we write as A remove B. So this is going to be the set of elements in A but not in B. And we can say, we can write that as A cross B, or A, sorry, A remove B equal to X such that X is in A and X is not in B. And if we do by, if we use those diagrams and we go A and B here, um, it would be this over here. So um, I know we went a little fast, but um, you know, feel free to review this and post any comments and let me know if there's anything that's unclear and I can certainly um, post a follow-up video um, if that is required. So have a nice day.